So I'm finally home now and I'm gonna share the things I bought at car boot. So basically after the car boot we went to have some grocery shopping and then ate and then went home. So we also went to Asian store and these are the things I bought and I'm excited to share to you how cheap it is to buy some items at car boot. So basically, I just realized it's, those are the items that when people declutter, they want to sell it at a cheap price. But you can find some good items there and I'm gonna share it to you. Basically, that was my first carbon experience. So what happened was right now, because it's summer, there was not much going on and there were no stalls. But carbon it is a place where people gather uh, from all different uh, times and they will sell their household items anything under the sun you can find there as low as 50 feet and I was thinking because I'm a really cheap state I was thinking I'm having a good buy at the charity shops but yeah carpet is also a different type of fun because they will park their cars there I think they paid some some rent or what with that car park and then they will park their car and then they will put the items that are on sale at the back of their car or they will put a table to put the items that they are gonna sell so it was also a fun experience to experience that one because um, you will really get some items that are really 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 cheap which I'm gonna share to you today. So, let's get on it. So, the first item that I bought is this one. Tada! It's a Tefal um, steamer. So, you can steam your foods here and vegetables. And this is stackable as well. And guess how much I bought it. I bought it for only two pounds. Mm, two pounds. That one is only two pounds. So not bad for a two pound item. Okay. Actually, I only bought three items at that sale because I was thinking I'm not gonna buy something, but I ended up buying three items. One is a pub watch. I will show you later and the other one is a bag which I will also tell you later how much okay so this item is stackable that's why I like it and I bought it only two pounds so you just have to stack them Let me show you so like this This, like this, like this, and that's it. It's very stackable. So that's the first item that I got in a Satifal steamer. Okay. And the second item that I bought is this red bag. Actually, this is not for me. I'm gonna give this to my mom. Which is a pink, uh, golden chain, and it has also this lots of zipper to put your place, to put your things. I mean, so yeah, there. Open that one. It's a zipper here. Everything is here. Okay. So this one is a tape heel bag which costs only two pounds. Okay, so that's my second buy. And the third item that I bought is tada! This one. This is called coffee French press. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but since I'm gonna send this at home 
because you know they are they love to drink coffee especially my daughter so i think this will be at least an item that this will have in the household i bought this one even though i don't i know we have it way back home because this is very cheap guess how much is this this is only 20p only 20p at the car boot very very cheap only 20 so I think this is a good buy and the third item that I bought is a fob watch this is very cheap I already had a fob watch but I want to have one as a backup and I can't let go of this because it's just very very cheap this costs only ta -da, one pound at the car boot so for today's car boot haul my shopping only costs two pounds and then this one two pounds that's four and then one pounds five pounds and 20p so all in all I have a shopping haul of five pounds and 20p at the car boot so that was my experience at the car boot basically you can just find uh, cheap items there if you don't mind using items or buying items that have been used or second hand although there are some items there also which are still with tags and yeah it's fun that we had an entrance fee of around 50 in going to the car boot and they say if you want to be earlier there because usually the car boot opens at 6 a.m. in the morning and then closes at 1 o'clock in the afternoon so if you want to go earlier there like let's say you want to go during the opening time you want to be the first one or you want to be the first one to choose because they only sell one item each obviously for reasons that those are the items that each people have it's not like they're gonna stock it to sell so if you're gonna go there ahead at around 6 a.m then you just have to pay five pounds but nah i just go at a later time i think i went there at around 10 o'clock so we only paid an entrance of 50p so that's my car boot experience for today it was fun though so I bought this Laurier conditioner for only 2.75 pounds the regular price of this is 5.50 pounds at Wilco and then this white in wipes for only 50p yeah it's cheap and this sanitary pads which only cost 1.70 so all in all i just shop there for only five pounds because i don't need to hit 0 0.05 so it's five pounds all in all i also did a little shopping in asda because i can't find any hummus at weight cross so this hummus cost 0.79 p and i found this fruit from 150 it was reduced at 50p because this was a reduced to clear item and i also bought these olives because olives is my favorite this cost 3.60 pounds and yeah before going to wilco i also bought this conditioner which cost three pounds at 350 ml and I bought this kebab for only two pounds which is my favorite for my fried rice hummus fried quinoa I mean fried rice and quinoa which I mixed this and I also bought carrots there these carrots only cost 30p very cheap right 30p so aside from that 
I was also able to buy a notebook because I need this for some studying. This notebook costs only 1.35 pounds. And what else? So all in all, this one at Asda costs 12 and 12.19 pounds. So yeah, those are the things that I bought in Asda. Oh, by the way, I also went to the Asian store and bought this one. I think this one cost 1.70 each because these are my favorite toasts. So that's how it goes for today. I was able to find some good finds at Car Boot. And then just went for a little shopping in the grocery store and eat at the Korean resto which I just discovered which is beside my favorite Vietnamese resto so basically that's it for today Sunday Yolibantin with my friends